Hey, what's up, guys? It's Carlin Jeffrey, and you're watching Celebrity Hotspot. Stay tuned, guys. Hi, I'm Jenna from Celebrity Hotspot, and today I'm here with Carlin Jeffrey. So, what brings you here to New York? Right now, I'm here in New York because I'm going to speak to some kids mm -hmm. and um, just help some kids with acting and different okay. things like that. Awesome. So, feels good to be back in New York. Mm -hmm. So, what's your favorite thing to do in New York? Hmm, my favorite thing to do in New York, I love to just eat the different food. There's mm -hmm. so many different kinds of food here, mm -hmm. so um, I love like pizza, like there's nothing like some New York mm -hmm. pizza. Exactly. So, yeah. so most people know you from Ant Farm, what was that like for you? Um, Ant Farm has been an amazing experience for me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely a blessing and um, I just thank God every day for this opportunity mm -hmm. and um, just uh, being able to um, catapult my career to a whole nother level. So. Awesome. What was the favorite episode that you filmed? Ooh, I would have to say the chicken wing episode. Like that yes, <laughs> that was my favorite because it was the first episode that I shot Amazing. in front of a live audience. Really? Yes, yeah, so I was like really nervous, but I mean the energy just turned into something positive. So. What are like the live tapings like? Can you tell us a bit? About the live the live tapings are really really fun. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, uh, we're there for like maybe four hours of taping, mm -hmm. and um, it's okay if you guys mess up. Like most people don't think like they don't want to mess up, mm -hmm. like especially like guest pe people that actually yeah. guest star on the show, mm -hmm. they don't want to mess up. But the audience love it when you mess up <laughs> and, and just be real because you know that's what they like. Yeah. So it's really fun. So what is it like getting to work with China, Sierra, and Jake? <sighs> it, it, it's amazing because they're they're much younger than me. And um, I just learn things from them every single day. Mm -hmm. And um, just for them to be so talented, it just motivates me to want to up my game. And mm -hmm. every time I step on the stage, I have mm -hmm. to just be on my P's and Q's. So. Do you like hang out with them when you're not working? Of course. Um, I hang out with Jake a lot. Um, Jake actually, he hit me up not too long ago because he cool. wanted to play some basketball with mm -hmm. me. So. <laughs> Your favorite sport? Mm, it would definitely have to be basketball. I love basketball mm -hmm. and football. Definitely. What was your reaction when you booked the part on Ant Farm? Uh, tears of joy. Like, actually, I really I couldn't cry at the moment because I was still shocked. My mm -hmm. mom, she was just like crying and was like, "What? Oh my goodness, are you excited?" And I'm just like, "Yeah, mom. Yeah, I'm excited." And she's mm -hmm. like, "What are you doing? Like, you need to be yelling, screaming." But um, I it was just a moment of joy for me. Mm -hmm. So you're also working on your music. Can you tell us about that too? Uh, my music is uh, definitely good. Uh, you guys should expect some 90s kind of feel music from me. Um, it's it's real positive. It's mm -hmm. no cussing or anything like that. And uh, kids will enjoy it and I can get them uh, dancing and moving. So. Awesome. Can your fan expect an EP or an album in the near future? Yes, I actually have a mixtape out right now. It's called X. It's on uh, thatpiff.com. Mm -hmm. So you guys should check it out, check it out, check it out. And um, there's going to be more music coming soon on my SoundCloud. So. Will you be doing any collaborations with any artists? Ooh, I will, but I cannot reveal any secrets. Okay. I, can't, I can't let the cat off the back <laughs> just yet. So, so who are your musical inspirations? Some of my musical inspirations, who I listen to in the house, um, my mom always kept on like Luther Vandross mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. um, just R&B, yeah. like my mom really loved R&B and mm -hmm. my father, he was the hip hop head, like he really loved hip hop and um, so I kind of got the best of both worlds mm -hmm. and I tried to like intertwine them and, and just uh, give something new to the listeners. If you could collaborate with any artist, who would it be and why? Mm, I, it would probably be... Only the only reason why it would be Ariana Grande because mm -hmm. that song is stuck in my head. Like every time it comes on the yes, every oh, time it comes on, I'm just singing it myself. And I can't sing, so I'm just like I love it. Like I, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Do you have a favorite radio station or song you like to listen to? Um, well, when I'm out in LA, I listen to Power 106. Um, I don't know something on the radio. I, I really don't get a chance to listen to like mm -hmm. music on the radio, but when I do, it's definitely Power 106. Like, like, what's your favorite, like, Pandora station? Do you have, like, a favorite Ooh. station? Um, definitely in my Pandora, you can find Drake. Uh, you can yeah. find Drake in my Pandora. You can probably find um, a little Lord Hill in my uh, Pandora. And you'll probably be able to find some Justin Bieber. I'm <laughs> going to admit it right now. I'm a believer, too. <laughs> See? We're believers. <laughs> Was music something you were always interested in? Definitely. It's actually how I um, got my start. I actually mm -hmm. started in music and that's how I found out that I had any type of acting ability, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. But um, yeah, um, music has been my heart and soul. So mm -hmm. that's what I was doing since I was eight. I've mm -hmm. been uh, rapping since I was eight and now I'm, I'm, I'm my age now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will you be doing like any new movies or television shows? Like yes. Um, I actually have um, a couple movies coming out. I have two movies coming out next year, so you guys can stay tuned for that. I can't go into detail about it, but um, you guys can stay tuned and um, be excited about it. Awesome. <laughs> 
So a few of our readers wanted to know, like, what is your other favorite like original Disney Channel show? Ooh. I am a big fan of the famous Jet Jackson. Like, I was a really big fan of the famous Jet Jackson. Lloyd in Space. Um, I really love Lloyd in Space. Mm -hmm. um, now, I like to watch uh, Jesse is Hilarious. Jesse is. <laughs> Jesse is Hilarious. And then I also have one more favorite. Um, which one is it? Carlo, which one? Uh, why can't I think of it? I'm blanking out on the name. Good luck, Charlie. Good luck, Charlie. That That's was awesome. It. See, you're in my mind. It's ending now. out. So. I know. Sad. Everyone's getting old, but yeah. it's it's funny. It's really funny. Mm -hmm. So you also work with like a lot of charity. Can you tell us about mm -hmm. your work with the Mattel Children's Hospital? Yes, um, I actually get to work with them. It, it's so it's so amazing being around the kids because mm -hmm. uh, the, the situation that they're in, they make the best out of it. Yeah. And, and that, that just brings a, a, a smile to my face. Mm -hmm. And when I walk into the room, they're smiling at me and I'm smiling at them. And it's, it's just a lovely thing. And, mm -hmm. and I really adore the kids. Yeah. And, and um, I just try to give back as much as I can. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's really fun. It's, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say to other people who want to give back in their communities? I would say start now you know if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything so stand in stand up for what you believe in and then fight for it and if you really have a, a care in your heart for it just go for it and, and don't don't be shy because people when, when people see you're doing something positive that's when everyone will gravitate towards you and want to do positive things with you mm -hmm. so can you also tell us about your work with the like 2013 brand ambassador of focus apparel Yes, working with Focus Apparel has been amazing. I'm actually going to go get a sweatshirt right now. <laughs> working with Focus Apparel is really amazing. So you guys should check it out and wear their clothing because I'm wearing it and it's totally cool. And um, I'm a brand ambassador, so it's just been something different for me because mm -hmm. I love fashion, so I really want to get into it. And, and so, uh, yeah, they've given me the opportunity and the chance, and I thank you guys so much for it. And, yeah, go get you some Focus gear right now. Is there a website where you can buy it from? Yes, go to thefocus.com. This without an E, guys, so focused. <laughs> get focused. So what is it like meeting your fans at live tapings and other, like, performances? Um, meeting fans, it's, it's kind of... it's. It's kind of weird because actually I just go through like it's everyday life for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like going like even when I walk into a store or something like I'm going in the vines and I'm going to go get like a soda or something. Someone would just stop me and be like, "Hey, are you that guy?" And I'm just like, "Oh, well, yeah, I am that guy." And, and um, it's it's like what a coincidence. Like it's mm -hmm. good to meet you. So it's a it's a nice thing. And um, mm -hmm. I love having fans and I love all my fans. Yeah. They're my family. So thank you guys for supporting me. Have you ever had like the craziest like fan encounter or memory? Oh yes, I have. I have. Um, okay, so one time I was at the park. I was at the park um, playing basketball, and this girl she comes up to me. And she's like yelling, screaming. She's like, "Oh my God, are you that guy from Man Farm?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And I'm like on, the, and I'm like in the middle of a game, like running a basketball game. And they're like, there. She stops everything. Like she's like stops me in the middle of the court. Like, are you that guy? Are you that guy? And like all my friends are getting mad. Like, what are you doing? You can't stop a game <laughs> and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that was probably one of the craziest things that happened mm -hmm. to me. It was really unexpected. Awesome, that's so cute. Are you going to the D23 Expo? The D23 Expo, I'm really not for sure. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be there. Um, you'll probably uh, see me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. <laughs> so we're in the middle of summer now. Do you have any plans or anything that you did that's cool? Um, well, I hit the beach up a lot this mm -hmm. year, um, definitely, because in California, that's what we love to do. We love to hit the beach. So hitting the beach, um, just traveling and um, seeing different things. And um, definitely, my I, I have a summer birthday, so, you know, I had to party. Yeah, July 10th is my birthday, so um, it was just uh, not too long ago. And I had fun. We were roller skating and things like that, mm -hmm. so it's pretty fun. Do you like New York City or L.A. better? Ooh, that's... Mm. See, here's the thing, okay? I love New York City because it's it's so real. Yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. it, but when you come here and you get off the plane, you just feel that vibe and that mm -hmm. energy of just realness. Mm -hmm. And in L.A., it's just palm trees and, and, and you know, so it's just like, mm -hmm. the, it, it's, it's really different. So I would have to say mm, New York. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a favorite animal? Do I have a favorite animal? Well, the crazy thing is, I never had a pet, guys. I never uh -huh. was able to get a pet, but I only had one pet in my life, which was a lizard. So I would probably have to say I like lizards. Yeah, like a lily guan or something. Do you have a favorite sports team? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm an overall basketball fan, so if I had to choose just one team right now, I'm going to go with Chicago because I love Michael Jordan. I like so. the Nets because I'm from Brooklyn. So. Uh, Brooklyn! <laughs>
If you were an entertainer, what would you be doing with it? Hmm, if I wasn't an entertainer, I would probably be doing something with my hands, with like electrical, something with like wires, mm -hmm. because I love like hooking up different things and things of that nature. So I would probably be in that field of like doing, being like an electrician or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you prefer better, the pool or the beach? Hmm, hmm. I would have to say the beach because, you know, it's something about when you're there, it's just mm -hmm. calm. It, it washes away all your pain. It's just like it goes away with the shore. So um, I would have to say the beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like frozen yogurt or ice cream better? Ooh, I would have to say ice cream because I love mm -hmm. birthday cake. You I like know, that <laughs> That's my favorite, so birthday cake. Is there anything you want to say to your friends who've been supporting you so far? Yes. Thank you guys so much for the support and the love. I love you guys so much. Please continue to keep following me on my journey and on my adventures. And um, I will be interviewing with more crazy people just like this. And um, yeah, it's, it's been an amazing experience for me. And thank you guys so much. I love you guys. So what are your social media accounts like Twitter and Facebook? My Twitter is, uh, my name is uh, twitter.com backslash Carlin Jeffrey, so C-A-R-L-O-N-J-E-F-F-E-R-Y. And you can also check out my Instagram, which is my name, Carlin with the X in the middle, Jeffrey. So mm -hmm. check me out, guys. Follow me. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you guys so much. It's been an amazing experience for me. Thank you. <laughs>